Hello students. Students, today's topic is Ved Analysis. So, let's get start the video. Ved Analysis. This is very important topic. Generally asked in exams. The Ved Analysis is generally used for the spare parts. So, we must know why we use a Ved Analysis, for which purpose we use a of Ved analysis. So Ved analysis is generally used for the spare parts. Now the question is that what are spare parts? The requirement and urgency of spare part is different from that of materials. So the requirement and the urgency of spare parts is different from that of the material. If you need some materials, their requirement and their urgency is different than that of the requirement and urgency of spare parts. Now here we will discuss about what are spares. Spare also form a part of inventory. There are different types of inventories that we generally use. Raw material, work in progress, consumables, finished goods, spares. The consumption pattern of raw materials, consumables, finished goods are different from that of the spares. So different type of inventories we use in our factories. Uh, like raw material, work in progress, consumables, finished goods, and spares. And their uh, consumption pattern, how much uh, uh, quantity we need in our factories about raw material, work in progress, consumables, finished goods, spares, that is different from uh, uh, inventory to inventory. If raw material, the consumption pattern is different, work in progress, consumption pattern is different. It is not the same in every case, consumption pattern. So the consumption pattern of raw material, work in progress, consumables, finished goods are different from that of spares. The stocking policies of spares are different from industry to industries. So stocking policies, how much uh, spares you store in your industry or in your uh, uh, factory, it it differs from industry to industry. Some industries like transport will require more spares than the other concern. So some industries like you may consider transport industry. A transport industry needs some more spares than the other concern. The costly spare parts. Now this is a very important costly spare parts. Here you may come to know what are spares exactly. The costly spare parts like engines, maintenance spheres etc are not discarded after use rather they are kept in ready position for further use the costly spare parts now what are the costly spare parts like we use engines in our transport in uh, in uh, transport in the sense uh, you have seen that in uh, on highways uh, big uh, big trucks are uh, moving from one road to other uh, from uh, one city to other cities so Transport industry generally need uh, engines, maintenance spares, and they use it once and again keep it ready for the next use or further use. Spares may also include, you have seen that uh, when we use different plant and machineries, uh, even at home or in other factories, uh, small nuts, uh, you have seen that. Uh, uh, in different different parts of, of the plant and machinery we use different types of nuts it may be big or it may be small or it may be medium so these are very important for the smooth working of the plant and machinery so spears are very important all decisions about spears are based on the financial cost of inventory on such spears and the cost that may arise due to their non availability so uh, all decisions about the spares are based on the financial cost of inventory on such spare. As you as we come to know that the spares are very much costly, so uh, decisions about the spares we uh, take uh, very much carefully. Otherwise, a uh, uh, concern may have to suffer a lot due to the uh, non availability of uh, such uh, uh, important spares availability of spares like engines maintenance spare etc may create a huge problem to our industry uh, the result can be stoppage of even our production in our factory also so we need to be very careful while taking any kind of decisions about the spares so with analysis is generally used for the spare parts now we 
uh, come to know what is exactly spare parts the requirement and urgency of spare part is different from that of the material so the requirement and urgency how much quantity we need how much important spares is differ from that of the material ABC analysis may not be properly used for the spare parts here is one more analysis that is ABC analysis is also available for uh, inventory purpose but ABC analysis we cannot be used for the spare parts the demand for spares depends upon the performance of plant and machinery so how much spares we need in our factory it all depends on the performance of plant and machinery that we use in our factories spare parts are classified as vital v essential e and desirable so with so this is a short form v actually stands for the vital e stands for the essential and d stands for the desirable so with analysis actually divides uh, all spare parts into three categories the so one is vital v essential e and d desirable now we will discuss about the vital spheres what are vital spheres vital spheres are must for running the concern smooth if you want that your concern run smoothly so we need to keep the vital spheres now what are vital spheres these must be stored adequately vital spheres we need to be keep in a sufficient quantity so our uh, so that our concern may run smoothly so vital spheres are very much important for our concern vital sphere must be stored adequately the known availability of vital spheres will cause havoc in the concern if we will face the problem of known availability of vital spheres in future it may cause huge loss to our factory to our company so vital sphere must be keep adequately must be stored adequately because the uh, vital sphere provide smooth running to our concern so it is very much important to keep vital sphere in sufficient quantity now the next is the e type of spheres e stands for the essential the e type of spheres are also necessary but their stocks may be kept at low figures so e type of spheres is also necessary but we keep them at low figures we keep them in low figures not sufficient quantity but we must keep but at low figures some quantity we must keep every time in our concern e type of spheres the stocking of d type of spheres may be wider at times d stands for the desirable which is optional you can say the stocking of d type of spheres may be wider at times if the lead time of this sphere is less then stocking of these spheres can be wider so d type of spheres we can wide in our concern in our factory in our industry if the lead time of these spheres is less then stocking of these spheres can be wider now the question is what is the lead time here we will discuss about the lead time now lead time a purchasing firm requires some time to process the order and time is also required by the supplying firm to execute the order so what is the lead time now lead time if we want to do some work it definitely takes some time so in our company purchasing firm also takes some time to process the order and time is also required by the supplying firm to execute the order no one can do the work no one can process the order at the same time no one can execute the order at the same time time is required by any everyone so the time taken in processing the order and then executing it it is known as a late time it is essential to maintain some inventory during this period so 
we must keep uh, some level of inventory in our industry during this period during this late time because uh, if we place any order process order we can't do it immediate time is also required by the purchasing firm time is also required by the supplying firm to execute the order so in between that period we must have uh, some inventory in our industry so that our industry should not face any problem during this period overall meaning is that the, our production process must go on during this lead time it should not suffer uh, due to the non availability of material the classification of spares under three categories is an important decision a wrong classification of any sphere will create difficulties for production department the classification of spares under three category is an important decision means while we classify spheres under vital essential and desirable categories it is very much important decision if we classify them wrongly of any sphere if we classify different spheres under different categories wrongly it may create uh, difficulties for the production department so it's very much important uh, to take care of while we classify such spheres under three categories the classification of spheres should be left to the technical staff while we uh, classify it uh, different spheres under different categories such a important decision uh, we must left it to the technical staff because the technical staff know the need urgency and use of these spheres so this type of decision uh, classifying uh, spheres under three categories it must be taken by the technical staff because the technical staff is very much aware because they know the need urgency and the use of these spheres so students this is all about the veda analysis hope you enjoy my video and uh, thank you thanks for watching